Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back. Alright, so here we are playing Stone Buck 2 again. Oh, I hit the button too many times. Um, so there's kind of something we need to deal with today, I think. I think we need to kind of like finish off the mob farm and get that kind of like finalized. So um, it'll be a project complete, right? Um, mainly because we need to get on with uh, conduits. And I think in order to, to do this, we'll get back to the filters. Conduits. Um, in order to get down to these, like, longer ones here, these better ones with more high energy output. Because if we continue on this line, well, we're going to get kind of, like, maxed out here. And then that's just going to be kind of like garbage. So, uh, we kind of should go down this way. So, I think I made the enhanced energy conduits. I think I made these ones. I'm not quite sure. Which ones did I make? Uh, yeah. See, I made these ones, right? I made a lot of them. Um, far, far too hard. I, I think you can upgrade these ones. You can make the ender ones. These ones here. These ones can make vibrant. Oh, they're, they're using the vibrant testers. <clears throat> so you see the kind of like end there, right? Um, so I kind of want to get down to doing this here. Because these ones here are going to use need this infinity reagent, which really isn't that hard. We get grains of infinity with pulverized coal, and once we get our our um, our farm over here up and running <clears throat> very nicely, well, that won't be much of a problem, right? So, because I took everything down, all the power, because right now, like we we don't really need all those resources, so. Yeah, I'm working on getting all that power down, and that's going to be great. Um, next thing we need to do is item filters. Yes, yes, item filter. So, because we're dealing with the mob farm, right? We're going to have to get a bigger filter. So, I'm going to try with this filter here, which means we're going to have to go and make this little recipe here. And I got that. So I went out and made those things ahead of time. Um, or gathered the resources, right? So it would be... Where the heck is my skeleton head? So skeleton head, I believe that there. Got two of them here like this. And uh, what was it? The solarium stuff? There we go. So now we've got the, uh, the skeletal contractor. So we can take that over to here and we can build one of these big filters let's check one of these things out how much oh well, that's really good that's really really good so we can use this as a whitelist um for all the items that we're gonna want to let go by which is pretty awesome um that's that's huge actually i wasn't expecting it to be that big but that's really good um I was only thinking it was going to be like double the size of the other one, right? So we still haven't gone through like everything that we're going to need here. Um, these are going to get passed on through, I think, another filter. Um, that way they go into like this little section and we're going to have this little section tell us what's in all these boxes, right? Um, unfortunately, I haven't gotten all the crates yet. So we're going to have to probably let this run some more. But the goal and idea of this is that all this loot that I don't want, like this stuff here, is all going to go to a trash can um, using a priority system with the uh, with these conduits. So if you make, we're going to put this like drawer controller here, but the Yabo one uh, down here, we'll make this like a higher priority. So whatever we want to keep, we'll go into here. And then whatever we don't want to keep as the low priority should go to the garbage can. So we'll we'll test that out. Um, a little bit of testing to do. So I think one of the first things we're going to have to do is like empty this out. We'll have to go make a trash can. Um, and start figuring out what we want to keep. Obviously, we're going to want to keep these mob heads, right? So I'm going to have to start putting these up there somewhere. Uh, was there more of them? I thought I had more mob beds in here. I don't care about the trophies. Um, even though, like, if you get the... Which trophy is it? 
there's one in particular trophy in which you can get that uh um I think that gives you wither skull heads, yeah. So it's the wither skull um wither skeleton one. That's the one I was thinking of. A little bit of a brain fart there. So we'll keep those. Obviously, this stuff here we're going to keep, but we're going to have to do something about that because we're already full on the solid experience. So we'll probably have to start putting some void upgrades and stuff like that in there. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, this, too, is another thing that I would like to process into ingots. Um, as we go back to the conduits. Conduit, conduit, do, do it. <laughs> Um, I think eventually you're going to need it here, yeah. So, we're going to have to get, like, this, uh, slime. So, you're going to have to get this crystallized pink slime. And that is made by Pink Slime Ingots, which is made by Reinforced Pink Slime, which is this pink slime ingot right here. So, this stuff here. So, you got to put that, send that to a smeltery, and then, uh, you can make ingots. I don't know if you can make ingots directly out of it with this. I'd have to check. But anyways, yeah. Um, we'll have to make a little pink slime ingot factory out of this, uh, which is going to be pretty cool. So let's get down to it. So I need one of these yabba things, right? Um, that's yabba. So let's go make one of these little contraptions here, and we'll start setting up uh, some crap. I'll be back. All right, so I got a few things here ready. So uh, we'll just toss this guy down here like that. Uh, so I did get a bunch of void upgrades, iron tier upgrades, gold upgrades, and diamond ones. So I want to see what these do. Um, I want to see if uh, we can see if these will actually double. These are going up, so that's good. I mean, like, the numbers are going down, too. All right, so let's try that like that. See, now I got 60, 16,000. So if I go like that, give me 65, go like that, 262. Okay. And then if I go like this, it doesn't show anything if it's a void, but it did take one though. Um, what if I click on it? Does it show anything? So lock always, and we'll do something like that, right? Um, 64 to 64, though. I don't like that. What if we just go and grab all this here? Like so, yeah. <clears throat> now, there we go. Ah, that's a little bit better. Okay, so I think we'll do something along those lines. We'll uh, keep all these barrel upgrades close and stuff like that. And I'll eventually just put uh, void upgrades on all of them. So we'll, we'll get to that at that one point or another. Um, oh, yeah, I got to make that uh, darn it. Okay, so um, we'll deal with the experience uh, at another time as well. Um, but my goal for today is just to kind of get this thing up and running so we can... Uh, we can start using it, right? Like we can take advantage of it. Um, all these two, I'll figure out a little system for it. Um, guess we could just toss them in here for now, or we could just toss them in here. You know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah, probably be the best thing to do. Loot crate storage, right? Toss them in there first. So if it's like a... Hmm. How do we do this? We can do it in the wall, maybe over here. I do our little system over here, right? So if we go something like this, right? We'll make these higher priorities. Then this guy will be over here like so. Then what we'll do is we'll have 
this we won't do it right away but um i will extract this will insert then we're gonna want to go hmm. i'd like to make a buffer for that first though I think that would be the smart thing. So let's make this room just a wee bit bigger. We can add a torch in here to light stuff up. So let's uh, put that there like this. Put this here like that. Um, um, hope this doesn't interfere with this block. Like makes it like redstone powered. Uh, we'll find out. So let's insert. We won't do anything there just yet. I want this to come out into, um, I guess, some kind of a chest. Put a chest here. Just one. Uh, nothing. This will extract. Always active. You will insert. Okay, so this is going to be like our sorting chest, right? Then going to want a garbage can here. Um, something like this and something like that. You, we don't want touching. That's fine. Um... He was going to be insert. At the moment, we're not going to have that extract, nor this. Um, because this is technically going to have to be an insert. So we'll see what kind of items come through here first, through these bags, right? I think that would be a smart thing to do. And then we'll just keep whatever we want and trash the rest. Um... We'll probably have to put an item filter here as well, so that way we only let certain things through here, and then the rest, well, we'll let it uh, go that way, right? <clears throat> uh, I think that's going to be that, so this will come down something like this. That will be insert. This will be insert, so we'll put this like to a... Five priority, right? So make sure that everything is... Oh, I guess we're going to need another trash can, huh? <laughs> ah, crap. Um, yeah, we'll put our trash can here. So we'll just put it here for now. Right? Uh, we'll have stuff extract. Go into here. Whatever I don't want will go into there. Uh, we'll have to put an item filter into that with all the items that we're going to keep and let through, right? So that means we're going to have to whitelist these. Whitelist that. Um, we're going to get some more ender pearls because I don't have any left. So we'll have to whitelist that over here. Um, and then, so... In the meantime, we can do something like this over here as well. So we need to get different mobs. Um, how do you want to do this, Bog? Uh, there's going to be glass here, so I could go something like this, maybe. And then we could put the witch water here. So, all right. So the whole purpose of the uh, darkened glass um or the witch water sorry is going to be so that way we can get an in particular mob okay um what we're looking for is to get a drop of evil uh this drop of evil will turn this stuff here into uh cursed earth and with the cursed earth while it doesn't matter how far we are mobs will sp always spawn and we'll get uh, better mobs too they're going to be like um boosted and more powerful mobs and we'll get better drops too so uh that's another boosted th good thing about that um the only other thing we are gonna have to make is an ender inhibitor uh oh, where are those things 
I think cyclic makes that. Um, where the heck? Man, oh man. I don't see it. Uh, inhib. There we go. <laughs> um, these things here. So, oh, we're going to need an Ender Pro. That's great. We don't have any left. So, we'll have to get this farm up and running first. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. We'll just uh, do something like, oh, like this for now. All right. So, we'll leave that be. We'll turn this on. Right, that should be on. Yeah, that's all on. So for now, we're still just collecting stuff here. Um, I'll make another trash bin and we'll put it there. We'll slowly get rid of some items here. All right, so let's uh, take this here. I don't want to lose any items, right? Bam. Let's not accidentally throw anything out. And then live to regret it, right? Because that would just like totally suck. So whatever you throw in here is automatically deleted, which is very, very nice. Um, saves us uh, time of throwing it onto the ground, right? Uh, I guess I'll keep those. Don't need any of that. We technically don't need any of these. I guess I'll just throw it all away for now. Um, the card that's over there, I will keep that. Uh, here, we'll just get rid of these two as well. This here, these cards, is one thing I will be keeping. Um, just throw them there, I guess. Uh, these are for... Uh, these are for, like, um, the I.O. system or whatever, so you can walk around and... <clears throat> Use your, your wireless stuff. So anyways, um, yeah, we'll let that do its thing. We'll see what kind of items we get this time around. Um, we'll try to start making a filter right here. We'll start trying to get this thing ready and uh, go from there. So I'll let that do its thing. And hopefully we got a drop of evil and then it'll make this process a lot easier and faster. So, all right. So with a little bit of patience, uh, we managed to get ourselves a drop of evil, which is totally awesome so let's grab ourselves a little piece of glass oh my god did i put that glass away all right now that i have a piece of glass to like uh you know uh, replace this one so what you do with this uh wonderful drop of evil is you go bloop, and it turns all that to cursed earth so now uh we can stand right here and mobs will spawn and we will see all of their loot come in <clears throat> so this is when uh, I can sit here and have a look at what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep and all that good stuff and we can start filling up this list properly and placing things properly as well. Um, like I said, I won't need these in here. We can just take these out and I guess uh, plop those in there. Uh, I guess it doesn't work like that. <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate. Uh, I guess they're going to have to get sent in there by conduit wise, uh, which is fine, which is fine. So we'll start filling these things out. Hopefully I get all the different types of loot boxes. So we're getting common stuff here there. So which is good. Um, other than that, that's that. So let me. Oh, oh, what are you doing? How did you get out? That's not cool. That's not cool. That's not cool. No, 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 no. I'm a boxing. I'm a boxing man. You weren't supposed to get out. I don't know how you got out of there, but that's amazing. Where's my food? Wow, how did you get out of there? Huh. Interesting. So I wonder if I need to put like a, an extra protection thing here. Because that should have killed them like instantaneously, right? Unless it's the witch water that glitched them out. Hmm, it's very possible. We maybe not need the witch water anymore, right? We'll see. We'll see. If that keeps doing that, we might uh we might get rid of it, but we'll see how it goes. Um 
So let's uh, get this filter going. I'll start checking this stuff out. And uh, once we get the filter, I'll be back. Okay, so I think we got quite a bit of items here um, so far. I have this over here. Uh, I guess we can just kind of reorganize these a little bit. <laughs> Don't want uh, everything to be in different spots. I'm a little weird like that. Uh, what's this one? Bottles. Uh, the essence I didn't put in there yet. No. Okay, so I'm going to have to do something with that. For sure. Alright, so. They glitch out of there, do they? Alright, so we'll have to find a way to deal with that. I guess for now. What I'll do is I'll just do this. <laughs> that works for me for now. Until I figure something else. I might do like a, a double thing here. Where um, I do a double thing of glass. And it just won't really show. Okay, so this electrical steel takes uh, quite a bit of time to uh, fabricate by the looks of it. Um, it's... Pretty slow, so you grind up some of this coal to make uh, pulverized, and then uh, you throw it all into the simple alloy smelter here, and slow but surely it makes that. We'll have to upgrade this to the Elite at one point or another, so it's uh, a little bit faster for us. But uh, let's go and make at least one of these for now. Um, I know there's Endermen teleporting around the base now. Uh... <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> you never know. Uh, the, what's the McCallits there? The, the skeletons there, they've been popping out of here, so it's a little strange. All right, so let's go check this out. Let's uh, go put a speed upgrade in there. Oh, I already seemed to be dealing with it just fine prior to that. Ah, okay. You weren't supposed to all go in there. Um, that's not good. Why did all that stuff go in there? Oh, did I, um, did I not do something right here? Whitelist. Yeah. Match me to do. Yeah. But why didn't, why, why? Hmm. That's not cool. Priority five. Priority five. Uh, nothing should have gone in there. All right, let me check out to see what happened here. <laughs> um, so I don't want that there. But these all should have been like locked. It shouldn't have let anything else. See, that's kind of weird. So this should have been shut down in there and not moved. See, and they come back here. Oh man, that's not right. Unless I put the filter on that thing. Maybe that's what it is. And then I go here, bam, whitelist. Then I remove this stuff here. Oh, yeah, that could be a thing. That could be a thing. So let me get rid of these two as a test. Should throw those in there and they should stay in there. Yeah. So far, so good. Uh, it looked like uh, everything is working pretty good. Um, I did disconnect the garbage can just for a little while, just to make sure that uh, all the, everything that we want to keep is here. So let's uh, deal with uh, this right here. So um, 
if we turn this on, right? Always active. This should like empty the contents of this into here. Ah, cool. All right. Interesting. So, uh, harvest and replants large area. That looks interesting. These are cool. Uh, not really useful. Iron. Cow stalls. Now, this could be interesting. This could be good. I'd like to keep those. Uh, definitely the redstone. Uh, purpose does an ender lily have? Uh, the glowstone will keep. The floral fertilizer will keep. We're already keeping feathers, so. Uh, may as well keep that as well. I guess I'm going to be, um, oh, bait. Uh, probably not. I guess we could keep the gold. Uh, prismarine wouldn't be so bad. The obsidian. Is that clay? Oh, those are coming from the clay things. Um, oh, growth crystals. Those are awesome. Pig iron. Don't need those. Soul sand, maybe? Uh, donkey bait, inferium, that's pretty good. Squid bait. These are all things that we're getting from these, uh, these chests, so. Let me, um, do I have another chest in here? I do not. Let me go grab another one. But, we can just do something like this temporarily, so this is useful, right? Things maybe we could put over here that we'd want to keep like the obsidian the blocks uh the inferium so we'll put these here uh the certus quartz uh more ingots right we got some stuff here plants we got some redstone ender lilies this uh temporary things that i would like to keep would be like stuff like that and then all right, so we're still finding some pretty decent stuff through these loot boxes. Um, obviously, uh, we're going to have to keep an eye on these for a while and check out what we're going to keep and what we're not. Um, kind of looking at, like, this is what we're going to keep so far. Uh, clay blocks, obsidian, prismarine, soul sand. Um, don't really need the soul sand, but, you know. Um, and then all this other kind of stuff here. Which isn't too, too bad, uh, I guess. Um, a lot of cool other things that we get here is from the cow mods, which we're going to need for that. That's for growing. These things are super awesome. Uh, we're going to make these for, I was talking about uh, earlier. <clears throat> I didn't know we get them from mob drops, but we'll just have to keep an eye on this for a while. Most definitely. And then I even might make that chest bigger just to make sure that they can store more items. But then again, this thing here too will just back up and it'll do a little bit at a time. So, so I'll let that go and uh, we'll check that out. So I think that's going to be it for today's episode. So we're slowly getting the mob farm more and more operational, more and more, I guess you could say, um, self-sufficient, right? Uh, those would be the right words, and I think that's that. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.